Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to share with you how to estimate your projects or features better based on my 10 years of experience. And make sure that you watch this video until the end, because I will share with you my bonus tip how you can use planning poker to make accurate estimates. So let's jump right into it. As a programmer in any company, you and your team must deliver some results on time. So actually the most popular question that you will get from your manager or the business itself is when it will be ready or how much time do you need to implement this feature or this project. And the worst answer here is of course, okay, it looks fine, I think we can do it in two weeks. Because obviously in two weeks nothing will be done or at least not ready and then business will ask you why it's not finished, then you will get some stress, then pressure and maybe overtimes. And of course we must avoid it. This is why we need to make our estimates more accurately. So let's start with the basics. Actually in every single task or project you have a part that you know and a part that you don't know. For example let's say that you need to implement authentication, maybe an API for it. And actually you never did it before, which means your estimation will be totally random, because you don't know anything. But actually if you will spend some time, for example let's say one day, and you will investigate this topic, maybe watch some videos, then probably you know like 10 or 20% of the task itself, because then you have a rough understanding how it should be done. And actually if manager or business asks you, ok, how much time do you need to implement this feature, and you never did it, the best answer here is of course to say, I need some time to investigate the topic, let's say one day, and then after one day we can speak again and my estimation will be more accurate. If you are estimating some feature and you see that your estimations are bigger than 3 or 4 days, it makes sense to split this feature into several smaller features, because then it will be easier to estimate and your accuracy will be much better. If you have a feature like 5 or 10 days, even if you have a lot of experience, it's really difficult to be precise here. One more important thing is to do as little code as possible, which means you need to implement MVP. What is MVP? This is minimum valuable product, which means if business is coming to you and saying ok we need this feature or we need such project, you need to estimate it. And then you think ok it will take one month of time. You need to say to business ok it will take one month, but maybe we can cut out some features and just leave the core functionality of feature on your project. And probably then you can implement this functionality which is called MVP maybe in one week and not in one month. Almost always business will react positively, because they will get their product or feature faster, they understand that it will be easier to implement it because the estimation is lower. If business will see results only in one or two months, it means that first of all it can be already too late for the market, or maybe they even didn't want this feature or not in the way like you implemented it. Also there is a huge problem in all programmers. Actually we are estimating everything too optimistic, especially when we have some experience. We are thinking ok, but this is super small feature, I can do it fast. And then we are saying ok, we will do it like in 2 or 3 days. But then there is much more to implement and it just takes always longer. Which means you really need to take your time and first analyze what is really needs to be done. And maybe even write a list with all points. Another important point here is to choose always bigger number when you are estimating the feature. Let's say that you think ok, maybe I can do it in one day or maybe in two days. You need always to take two days, because you need some buffer of time and normally things are more complicated than we think about them. Also you should know that there are two main variants how we are estimating features. First of all it's man days and secondly it's story points. What does it mean? With man days I think it's clear. It means how long one person needs to implement this feature. For example if we are saying that we can do this feature in one day, then there is one man day. And this is super clear for business, you can just say ok we planned this feature for 3 days. 
but we also have a story points. What does it mean? It means that we are estimating not the main taste, but the complexity of the feature. For example, if feature is easy, we are saying, okay, this is 1, but if it is maybe medium, then it is 3 or 4. If it is really complicated, then 5 or maybe 10. Which means we don't know how long it will take, but how difficult the feature is. From my experience, using Mendays is really easier for business and for developers and more understandable. Because you can't come to business and say, okay, my feature is 5 story points, it doesn't make any sense. Business will simply ask, okay, when this feature will be ready. This is why I most often can see estimation in Mendays and not in story points. So here is my bonus point regarding planning poker. So actually history showed us that if we need to estimate some task, we can ask 10 people on the estimation, and then just take a medium between all of them, and normally it will be really accurate. So we are doing exactly the same to estimate our features. Actually several developers, normally the whole team, are sitting together and plan all the features. And actually the idea is to just show your estimations at the same time for the feature. Which actually means that one person shows the card with one for example, second person with two and third person with three. And then we just take the average between them and it will be quite accurate. So why it is called planning poker? Because we have a deck with numbers, and then every person can show a number of the estimation for the feature. Also, if somebody showed too big number or too small number, they need to clarify to other developers why it will take more time or less time, because it may be important. And after this they can reestimate the feature again. So this was the basics of correct estimations. Actually you simply estimate your features, you are doing them, you check your estimations, and then you are doing it again and again. And with time your estimations will be getting better and better.